at this time we are going through the details about data import and export using pandas already we have gone through the details about how to import or read data from csv file into the pandas data frame before getting into the details about exporting or writing data back to some csv files i'll also walk you through how to apply business rules for now i'll just take one example we'll actually see a lot more examples in subsequent sections uh, here the focus is primarily to understand the whole process of importing or reading data from csv into data frame then apply business rules and then uh, export or write data back to csv files to demonstrate how to apply simple business rules first let me recreate the data frame in this case i am recreating the data frame by name toyota underscore data as the data frame is created let me make sure i preview the data or review the data in this case i'm just saying toyota underscore data and running this you can see sample data here you can see the column names then you can actually see the number of rows and columns as well now if you look at the data we have sale amount and commission percentage when it comes to commission percentage for some of the records it is nin or it is null uh, when it comes to pandas if we have uh, null or none it is represented as nan i think nan stands for not a number that being said here i would like to compute something called as commission amount what is the formula for commission amount i just have to multiply sale amount with commission percentage it will give us commission amount for each and every sale transaction you can see here also if commission percentage is null or none or not a number i just wanted to assign zero to commission amount on top of these things i also wanted to round off the values to two decimals these are the things which i wanted to take care first let me compute commission amount then we'll take it further in this case you can assign a new column to data frame like this you can say toyota underscore data which is data frame name then you can specify the column name in square brackets the column name which i'm going to assign is nothing but commission underscore amount then we can say equal to then again toyota underscore data here we have to specify sale amount the formula is sale amount multiplied by commission percentage we should be able to perform a multiplication operation like this then the second column based on which we have to multiply is nothing but commission percentage let me specify commission percentage here now let me run this uh, let me preview the data by saying toyota underscore data dot head you can see the outcome here and let me zoom out little bit here you can see commission amount is assigned for each and every transaction however if commission percentage is nin commission amount is also nin our requirement is to assign zero for this to take care of it what you are supposed to do is you can actually enclose this in a circular brackets on top of this you should be able to use a simple function called as fill na in this case if it is nin we wanted to assign zero hence we should be able to specify zero like this now let me run this and let me run this now if you review these records where commission percentage is nin commission amount is zero you can see here however when it comes to uh, decimal points it have four decimals i just wanted to have two for that i should be able to use one more function the function which i'm supposed to use is nothing but round in this case i would like to round to two decimals hence i can specify two like this now let me run this and then let me run this now you can review the commission amount for all the records when it comes to number of decimal points it is nothing but two this is how we should be able to take care of applying simple business rules when it comes to pandas as we are able to generate a new field by applying simple business rules now it is time for us to see how we can write this data back to csv or export this data back to csv